Well, if it doesn't get rained out, the first game of the World Series is set for tonight. Right here in New York City, the rivalry between the Yankees and the Phillies has plenty of bookies working overtime. But one pundit says the championship is going to have some consequences in the political arena. Republican strategist Doug Hive writes the Thomas Jefferson Street blog for U.S. News and World Report. Um, it, you're not the only one who suggested to this, this to me today. Is this all inside baseball? <laughs> it may be the definition of inside baseball, absolutely. But if you look at um, even what happened last year in Pennsylvania uh, towards the end of the campaign, John McCain was trying to make strides there. And this certainly isn't the reason that John McCain lost. But uh, when the Philadelphia Phillies won the World Series, they had a parade on, uh, on Halloween. And uh, you look at the front page of uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer that day. It was wall-to-wall -wall, uh, Phillies coverage, and it was it was tough that day for John McCain to break through uh, in the news cycle. And if you're a candidate, whether you're on page one or page four, whether you lead the local newscast or you're buried in the local newscast, is really important. All right, so here you have New Jersey, which is sandwiched in between Philadelphia and New York. Explain how it works in such a way that uh, Chris Christie and uh, the incumbent here, John Corzine, could get pushed out of the the attention of the voters. Sure. It, it's not just the New York and, and the Philly papers, though they're obviously very important in New Jersey. Uh, it's papers like the uh, the Times of Trenton, uh, the Bergen Record, the Asbury Park Press that will be covering this as, as well because this is a local story to them because it's, again, it's two teams in both the, the major media markets. Uh, where I give Chris Christie the slightest of slight edges in this is that for Chris Daggett, the third party candidate who's running, it's going to be real hard for him to get his events noticed. But uh, th obviously, there's something that's been talked about a lot. But I'll tell you, I've been in New Jersey twice during the campaign cycle, uh, just over the past couple months, and I remember one night being at What's Your Beef, which is a popular restaurant down by the Jersey Shore, and while everybody was talking about the campaign, the game was still turned on to the Yankees. Uh, and right now, that's all everybody's focused on. Right. Okay, speaking of focus, do uh, you have any predictions, not for the election, but for the game tonight? Yankees in five, Christie by two, absolutely. <laughs> Good to know. Doug High, always a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you. Go Yankees. Uh, Florida